The next item this evening is number eight on your agenda, and that is REZ 2016-24 Martin. Jason. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. With that, you have a request here to rezone um, a split zone piece of property. It's currently 0.9 acres of M2, and about 5 acres of M1, and the rest is EA agricultural. And the request is to zone that to, try to get the acres right, around 12 or 13 acres of M2, and the rain, remaining balance, 13 acres or so, uh, I'm sorry, 9 acres to M2, and around 13 acres to uh, EA zoning. With that, this particular request does have um, a fairly complicated history. I do have updates. I was able to share with you um, the new updated cover sheet, which tried to take into you some of your comments you gave me on the Planning Commission's work session into account. With that, the updated slide we have, the zoning map does show that 0.9 acres of M2 zoning we were able to find back in 1981 that was approved by the Commission. Across the street, so we were able to identify that that um, acreage of M2 was actually approved in 1977. Um, staff and planning commission did not recommend for that acreage to be approved. The county commission did approve it. With that, what you have in our slide information, you have the future plans as rural residential, and then you get into some of the history that we tried to piece together for you. Ultimately, that kind of shows you the footprint of the 0.9 acres that was approved in 1981. You then have an aerial from about 1982 that shows that um, going outside that 0.9 acres to about 3.5 acres. You didn't have an aerial in 1993 that shows it growing to about 7 acres. An aerial in 2001 that shows it at about 10 acres. And then finally our most recent, about 2015, shows it at about 8.5 acres. Um, with that, you also have proposed configuration, and this is just a zoomed in footprint of what they're asking for, is 9.37 acres to M2 and the remaining balance to EA. Um, I've tried to list out for you, um, per request, what are some uses in M2 that, Jason, you are concerned with, and that is a list of them. There's 11 of them that I would say for this property are concerning uh, for the particular if you were considering approval of M2. Uh, and then beyond that, that is all the uh, particular homework I tried to do, but I did try to do some additional research to listen to those comments you gave me at the work session. I do believe that um, the family is here tonight. In, in case you had any further questions, but I think those are all the updates that I have for you at this time. Commissioners, questions for staff on this presentation? Thank Commissioner you. Willis? How long has this uh, Martin salvage been there? I can tell you that it was approved for 0.9 acres in 1981. We do have some reports of the salvage use being there before 1981, so I tried to put those arrows in there so you kind of knew how much the business has grown. But I think it's actually been in operation before 1981, before that zoning case with the county. <coughs> Mr. Blavin? Uh, Mr. Blavin, uh, so the first, uh, the last time there was an actual approval was in 1981. Yes, ma'am. And that was just half an acre. 0.9 acres, yes, ma'am. And then there have been increases, 1982, <coughs> 1993, and so forth. Um, okay. The second question is the actually my question is what what is the use what that would be classified? You showed us eleven different uses. Yes, what is the classification of this business? This would be a junk and salvage yard, which is the operation of Martin Salvage. The applicant is also interested in approving a zoning that would allow for a vehicle repair operation. <laughs> there is some repair that goes on in the subject property right now. Um, so I would think those are the two key uses for the applicants, and they may correct me if I'm wrong, but I think vehicle repair and, and salvage yard are the primary uses they're interested in. Is vehicle repair on this list? I did not identify that as one of the uses for a potential concern uh, for M2. It's an allowable use, ma'am, but I did not I did not feel like it was a use that was closer to a heavy industry or a medical dental med medical dental laboratory. So I have a concern, but not enough to condition to say you cannot have it. And that was by design because I think they wanted that use. So if you chose to condition it, I didn't think it made sense to condition it against the vehicle repair use because that's a, a lighter a lighter use. So the, the last building that was added 
Um, they added it under an agricultural permit, and their proposed use for that is a vehicle repair shop. And is that the first, I'm sorry, is that the first vehicle repair shop on this property? No, ma'am. I think there are existing buildings out there that are used for vehicle repair. And what present is the 8.37 acres, Jason? It is currently a mixture of EA, sir, and um, R1 zone. There you are. Uh, how many acres are they approved right now for a junk and salvage yard? 0 0.9. How many acres are they currently using for that, according to the overheads? We think it's around 8.5 acres for their current operations. So they clearly aren't playing in the rules right now? No, sir. They're in violation of zoning right now. understand how they can come after the story after the cows got out, but I don't think we we can stand to let the land go like it is. They've only got less than an acre mm -hmm. and covered almost nine acres. Jason, I'm just curious if, if the zoning does not alter to if the zoning gets through the county commissioners and is not approved, then I think it will be upon the county to figure out how much time the applicants have to bring the use into compliance. Compliance may be removing all the yes, salvage sir. stuff? Yes, sir. And the sheds would, and the, the storage sheds and stuff would be turned into? You can certainly have barns, et cetera, buildings in an agricultural area. Now, the, the residential zoning may be a little problematic for them, but you can certainly have barns that are used for storage, et cetera, in an agricultural zoning. But I think the real key question is how much time would be allowed or given to clean up the property and the number of cars that have accumulated over the years. There's no part of this. Is, I, I believe they've been there longer than 1981. Mm -hmm. uh, there's not any part of this that would be grandfathered prior to us doing a uh, the zoning. And all. The earliest aerial I was able to find that let us see a, a footprint of the building was 82, and it showed it at about three and a half acres. So, sir, I believe you that if they are older than that, and that's all I can tell you is that maybe at a minimum you could show their use. If you look at that map, the lot number 61 in the middle is the subject property. Mm -hmm. So lot 61 is about 1.9 acres. You can see that's pretty much spread out. There's material on that lot. Lot 58 and then to the west of it, 59C, you can see some um, acreage where it looks like they started to store something or develop something back in there. So that three and a half acres comes from that two acres. It looks pretty used up front and then parcels of it that are partially used in the rear. And the hard part about this is, you know, driving by the road, you can see what's on the road, but you can't see 200 feet back into the property where the development really took place. <coughs> Not until we had more recently the aerial technology that allowed us to take pictures and it was more commonly used really this operation um, become more visible. Any other questions from staff? Jason, is there any other zoning district that at least a portion of the eight acres they're using now could be placed into to limit what they're doing without wiping out the business? Yes, sir. We um we took a hard look at that. And I, I can't tell you that staff is recommending this option, but if you were looking for a zoning to maybe compromise between an M2 and AG. There's a zoning we have called Crossroads Commercial. Crossroads Commercial is meant for kind of rural commercial gas station repair shop type uses. Crossroads Commercial will allow for vehicle repair shop. Um, it'll allow for some other commercial activities like a gas station, potentially even um, like an outdoor kennel, even a vet's office type of use. But that's the only um, zoning we kind of identified that it's listed in our plan as um, a permitted use. 
it's up to the commission to determine if it's appropriate. But at least that's one where you could operate to vehicle salvage on the property without completely abandoning that use as well. So that would that's only would encompass the salvage and the auto repair? It would only encompass the repair. You would still have to do some cleanup on the property for the salvage. The salvage use is really only allowed in M2 and higher zones. So it would be a spot zone if you look just for the auto repair shift? It, it would be. I mean, depending on, you know, spot zoning is debatable, but it would allow for the vehicle repair, but it would restrict the salvage. And to what extent? I mean, what would we would still be talking about some plan to clean up the amount of vehicles that are out there to clean up the property. But um, certainly a smaller number, condition it if you like, of vehicles that are normally associated with a repair shop are there just because they're in a state of repair. Just not the expanse that you see that's currently on the property. But all, I wouldn't say all, most of the vehicles, vehicle shops that I'm familiar with have a small you know, storage facility for parts they are working on or waiting to be repaired or used for parts. It's just normally smaller. It's not the entire operation of the salvage. So to summarize what you said, there's no there's no means by which they can continue to operate a salvage yard unless this zoning is approved. Y yes, sir, that's right. I mean, they, they have a small portion of M2, that 0.9 acres, it's there. Um, but beyond that, without going to some kind of M2 or higher zoning, which is M3, like paper mill, salvage yards are, are harder to come by in the county, and I think that's because they've been abused. So the zoning for them is normally difficult to obtain. So if, if this crossroads zone that you're speaking about, if, if it was to go that way, the <coughs> repair would be good in, outside of that one acre, if you will, would have to be under jurisdiction being cleaned up. Yes, sir. I mean, it depends on how much you would want to go to crossroads. If you decided they want five acres and we're going to give them five acres of commercial, excuse me, then yes, everything outside of that, even within the commercial, we'd have to determine how long they would have to clean up the, the salvage yard that expanded out that way. Commissioners, any other questions from staff, Mr. request? Just uh, sort of a summary, how many acres are currently part of this um, application? What is the total acres? Ma'am, I'm just around 20 acres. 20 acres are being? 20 acres, 9.37 is what's being requested to go to M2. 9.37? Yes, ma'am. Of that 9.37 acres, 0.9 is currently already zoned M2. So we already have a portion of this M2 right now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what they did in 1981. A small portion. If you look on the map, I will show you um, in that red line. That might be difficult to see, but that red outlined area is what they have currently zoned, where there's a large building and half of another structure. It's currently zoned 0.9 to M2. So there is total 20 acres? Yes, ma'am. There is an existing point nine that's currently in two. Yes, ma'am. The request is nine point thirty seven acres on top of the point nine to be M two and the remainder is to be EA. Yes, ma'am. Nine point three seven to M two with the remaining acreage to be EA. Okay. And that is you, you should have a survey, ma'am. I just don't I don't have it in the presentation, but that is specified thirteen point four one to go to EA, ma'am. Tract A. With that nine point, whatever it was, mm -hmm. will that take care of their salvage and everything? Yes. M2 zoning without any conditions will allow for a salvage yard, which is their main their main focusing goal. All right. That's it, commissioners. At this time, we'll have someone come up that wish to speak in favor of this request. Anyone here wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward at this time. <coughs> Good evening, sir. State your name and address for the record, please, sir. Greg Mark, 3798, Houston Road, Dallas, Thank you, sir. Uh, this is a family owned and operated business for around 35 years. Uh, this is how we make a living. I'm the one. Uh, Trying to move my shop down there. I rent a space right now on 41. I'm just trying to get back home. Uh, 
I'm kind of leaving uh, my father's junkyard. I, I put fence up and started carving the back side of it. It's the reason it's not 10 or 12 acres right now. But uh, we're just trying to ask to let into. That way we can continue uh, that heritage, you know, uh, all the other repair. Uh, that's what we know. Any questions for Mr. Gladwin? How much area do you need for the vehicle repair shop? Uh, if I had to guess, it's probably around two and a half up the west side. Now, currently, there, the front shop that they were all building right there is all repaired. So, uh, two and a half acres, you said? Uh, at the most. Uh, the rest of it's all south. I think it's probably <coughs> seven, seven acres south. Oh. So the long rectangle building up front is your primary auto uh, repair? The one at the back. One at the back. The one that's still building. Uh-huh. Uh, the long one up front is about a nine-bay garage, and that's all repair. That's what we shot the front of the middle on the left side there. Uh, that's where they disassemble cars. Do y'all do y'all intend to remove um, some of the salvage part, or were you was your intent to try and keep it off? Uh, well, I've actually fixed off the spot just for my business uh, pulling in there, so I'm I'm definitely limiting all those um, salvage. But I mean, all the cars are the salvage part. Is that still something that you were? I don't know how to ask this, Mr. Martin, but I just want to, one of the things we had staff to do after our work session last week was discuss with y'all exactly what this meant if this was denied. And I just want to make sure you and your father and everybody out there involved understand that if this is denied, it does away with the salvage business, except for 0.9 acres. Yeah. I mean, is, is everybody aware of that? Well, when I went to build this building, I actually kind of got shut down and left and actually invested uh, quite a bit down there. And the only way I can get my shop down there is to apply for this recall. It's the reason I applied for it. Just to continue Commissioner Spolson's thought, I mean, all but one acre of that, Jason, you correct me, mm -hmm. all the existing salvage operation goes away. 0.9 acres was all that was, is all that is so currently zoned. 8.37 acres will have to go away. Yeah. Not a, not a good well, let me, if I could, if I could Please. interject. There is, in 1982, there was up to 3.5 acres that's being used by mm -hmm. the current business. And that was, theoretically, that can be grandfathered in as M2. Um, unless I am misunderstanding how we can sort of interpret this. So, because that was prior to the enforce or the, the new uh, land use regulations. The or prior to the zoning that mm -hmm. made that indicated that that area is not in correct? The 1981 zoning was a, a point in time where the commissioner said you can have M2 zoning on 0.9 acres. What we don't know is, well, how much of the operation was it point was it new? Was it 0.9 acres then? And 1982 is the nearest aerial I've been able to obtain where you can actually see that their footprint goes beyond 0.9, goes to about three to three and a half acres. So the grandfathering in to say you're illegal, non-conforming at three and a half acres is very gracious at this point. But I say that because that's just what we've been able to substantiate. So there's a gap there that we're not sure how much of that footprint grew or how much of it was already existing when the commissioner said you can only have 0.9 acres. We verified the acreage, verified it with the county commissioner minutes. What we don't know is what their footprint was at the time. So even before that 0.9 acres, 
you know, they did not have the zoning they needed for a salvage yard. If their business extended back to 1972, you could say they were grandfathered in. I just don't know if it extends back that far. My parents have been on that property since the 70s. Yeah. And my grandparents owned a 60 acre tract there since 1955. The reason it was probably just an acre, because they inherited two acres, and half had to be residential and half the commercial. But they probably used on either round the trees by the back. And Mr. Craig, I mean, that's consistent with what we found. Any other questions, Mr. Presenter? Ms. Mark, thank you very much. Anyone else here wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward. Anyone else wishing to speak in favor? There being none, anyone here wishing to speak against this request, please come forward. Anyone wishing to speak against this request? There being none, commissioners, any more discussion amongst ourselves? There being none, commissioners, at this time I will take a motion on this request. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Hall, I would like to make a recommendation to the County Commission of denial of this request. Uh, REC 2016-24. Okay, so we have a motion on report from Commissioner Hall with denial of this request. Do I have a second? There being none. Mr. Paulson. Mr. Chairman, I move we recommend approval of the request condition that we limit the use of the park being zoned M2 to a junk and salvage yard and that we further allow upon approval zoning a 90 day period to come into conformity with that zone. Okay. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Paulson's motion. What was the second part? Allow them a 90 day period to come into conformity with the zoning upon approval by the committee of county commission. Yes, please. Does M2 allow for the vehicle Yes, ma'am, it does. And you are limiting the use just for the salvage? No. Well, that, I, salvage and the vehicle repair. Yeah. Okay, excuse me. Okay. Salvage and repair, it wants the rider under the 90 days conform to? Conform to that, that zoning within 90 days. So basically, I'm trying to get it to a, a moving of all those salvage vehicles and junk cars into the zoning that, that we're doing. Okay. The 90. Within 90 days of the program. Okay. Commissioner Flynn? How many acres did we set? Nine point three seven two, roughly thirteen, roughly nine. Uh, we're going nine point three seven on this one. Yes. Okay. So the nine point three three seven is what your motion is about, Commissioner Bolton. Yeah, thank you. We get that moved into M two. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was going what Jason said about the start. Or backwards. Yeah. So let me restate my motion. Oh, are you with us? I would <laughs> move we recommend approval of the zoning as stated to the county commission with the condition that the uses within the M2 be limited to auto repair and junk or salvage yard and there be a second condition that within that made upon approval by the county commission of the zoning they have a period of 90 days to come into conformity with the zoning. And that is on the, the total of 9.37 acres. Yes. Mm -hmm. So are, are we, are you assuming by that that they have salvage cars outside of that? Whether well, they do or not. You will. They got okay. Okay. I'll, I'll say that. Okay, so we have a, or well, rather you get that total motion, it's very complicated. You got that? We have a motion from Commissioner Folsom, a second from Commissioner Willis, is that correct, Commissioner Willis? That's right. That? That's right. Any discussion on the motion, Commissioner? There being none, I will take. A vote on this. All in favor of the motion, please signify by raising your right hand.
We have seven and one against. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Colson. Jason, we are entering into.